So once this guy's house got raided by the feds, I thought this guy would flee. No. And you'd never if you come into my courtroom and I'm the judge and you're called Diddy, a.k.a. the diddler, you are guilty until proven even more guilty. It gets real. Guys, like, it gets, it gets real. I think he's, he's, he's going down. <laughs> like, he's going down. The counts have come in. Diddles, the diddler, diddy, creep, creepo, whatever you want to call this dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think him and Kells are, are sharing a cell. Him and Kells are sharing a cell. And also, I think Weinstein will join them as well. So, let's look at the counts now. So, um, hold up. Hold up, hold up. So, um, Combs is accused of sex trafficking empire. So, so, so we'll go from bottom to, to the top. So this is just coming in right now. Let's bring some days of the diamonds in which Sean did it. <laughs> Bro, what? Is, I mean, how, anybody, hold on, let me see. Anybody who calls themselves Diddy is guilty. You know how they say innocent of the proven guilty? No. If you come into my courtroom and I'm the judge, and you're called a Diddy, a.k.a. the Diddler, you are guilty until proven even more guilty. Sorry, it is what it is. Anybody calling themselves Diddy, you're guilty. So let, let's, we can start there. So let's just, let's just read this rant. Prosecutors say that, so, um, in, so Sean Diddy Combs is accused of racketeering, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. Jesus. Prosecutors say that to... Abuses victims, he relied on employees, resources, and influence of his business empire. A. Hey, so a lot, of, a lot of more guys are going to go, go, go down. It's alleged he created a criminal enterprise whose members and associates engaged in and attempts to engage in, among other crimes, sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping. Uh, what? Arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice. Let's keep reading. Counts two. Sex trafficking by force, fraud, or coercion. The indictment alleges beginning in 2009 to 2018, Combs knowingly recruited, enticed, harbored, transported, provided, obtained, advertised, maintained, patronized, and solicited an unnamed victim to engage in commercial sex acts. That could be Cassie. That could be Cassie. Combs allegedly did this while knowing the unnamed victim was doing so by force, fraud, and coercion, prosecutors allege. This could be Cassie. That could be the Cassie thing. We continue. Count three. Jesus. Um, bro, did, did you just say that proper? Let us pause. So it's even more. The third and final challenge against Combs is transportation to engage in prostitution. Combs is accused of knowingly transporting female victims and commercial sex workers on multiple occasions between 2009 to 2024 with the intent that the victims... Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Wait, hold on. Wait, wait. Do that wait. So with the intent that the victims engage in prostitution. God damn. Um, the 14-page indictment against Combs alleges he has engaged in verbal, emotional, physical, and sexual abuse, and that he used his influence as a powerful rapper to control his victims. The indictment alleges that Combs manipulated women into performing sexual acts with male commercial sex workers. It says he ensured participation from the women by, among other things, obtaining and distributing narcotics to them, controlling their careers, leveraging his financial support, and threatening to cut off the same and using intimidation and violence. God damn. And buried in the 14-page indictment is an order against Combs to forfeit any assets derived from the charges against him. The order includes any property, funds, or companies controlled and operated by Combs. Um, so then him. Okay, yes. So, the Diamond Legends comes assaulted women by striking, punching, dragging, throwing objects, and kicking them. We know this. The assaults detailed in the indictments were at times witnessed by others, and in one instance captured on video. Okay, yeah. So, that's where you know. So, security stuff. Combs threatened people with firearms multiple times. The indictment alleges that Combs brandished firearms to intimidate bystanders, including witnesses and victims of his abuse, on multiple occasions. During a search of his property, officers woo, found three AR-15 style rifles with serial numbers defaced. A draw magazine, a type of high capacity magazine was also found during the search, the indictment says. So, in a 
regular world, as I say, it's innocent until proven guilty. You know. So in a society, we have to be innocent until proven guilty. Everyone deserves the day in court. However bad something looks, we must assume innocence until proven guilt. You see, that video that was circulated, just for that, he should rot in jail. To kick, drag, and physically assault a woman. Bro, you're worse than trash. <laughs> you're worse than trash. Now, there's one thing if a woman attacks you, puts you in danger, and you react out of self-defense. That's one thing. Another thing is a woman is fleeing, trying to get away. You chase her, drag her, and you kick her while she's on the ground. You're filth. You're worse than filth. Like a... An ant, a rat, should spit on you. An ant, a rat, a, a snail, a slug, a maggot should spit on you. Because to a maggot, a rat, or ant, you are, you are filth to, to those guys. So, see, if, if, if a rat or a maggot sees you, they're like, get away from me, you freaking creep. Get the guy, don't, 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 don't touch me. So, for that, Oh, let him rot. Let him rot. Though, see, those are a lot of those are a lot of counts. Those are a lot of counts. See, I'm shocked that see once his house got raided, flee. Because so basically there was a video where the guy was just chilling around, taking pictures with with, with family and friends. Hours before he got arrested, I thought the moment, once the feds raid you, that's months of work. They don't just raid you randomly. That's months of work. So once this guy's house got raided by the feds, I thought this guy would flee and you'd never see him again. So then he goes to a country that doesn't have any extradition laws with America. Case in point, Roman Polanski is a rapist. He raped an underage girl. And he fled to, I believe, Switzerland that doesn't have an extradition law. So still, to this day, if Roman Polanski steps one foot on American soil, he gets taken to jail. That's the same man that those sick, sickos in Hollywood gave an Oscar to. <laughs> they gave an Oscar to a man while he was away from America because if he steps to America, he gets arrested. So, so the, the Hollywood gave an Oscar to a criminal. That's sad, but that just shows you how sick and, and psycho Hollywood are. So that's what I thought he'd do what Polanski would do. Knowing that, bro, the feds have raided you. They have a lot of footage on you. Flee! But then, do you know what makes this makes me think? Because Puff Daddy may be a sicko, a creep, and an evil piece of crap and just a disgusting human being for what he did to a defenseless woman. But he's not stupid. So what this makes me think, um, he's going to talk. He's going to make a deal. And he's going to say, look, I can give you something even more. Now, I don't know what you can give them, but surely he'll say, okay, look, you got me. But I can give you something more. But still, even thinking that, why, why, why wouldn't this guy flee? Those are a lot of counts, bro. Whatever way he's screwed, let's say by some crazy miracle, he hires Johnny Cochran 2.0 and he somehow gets off, his career's still done. Ever since that cancer video was released in 2024, 20, he's done. Nobody wants to see any Puff Daddy music video. Nobody will want to work with him and he is done in any movie, any music, anything, any industry-related thing, he's done. Everyone will wash their hands with him. So that's why you've hardly seen him. That's why he's shot on his, his Instagram. So he's screwed it away. Either he rots in jail, or if he doesn't, you are irrelevant. No one wants to deal with you. So, I mean, bro, Cat Williams, he told us this. Cat Williams says, everybody's catching heat, y'all. Everybody's catching heat. Like, I'm looking at the... Bro, looking... See, that's the thing. 
I don't know how he gets off. Looking at those counts, that seems very detailed. Because from 09 to what, 2018 and stuff up until 2024. And once the feds have, are accusing you of having an empire that includes sex workers and prostitution where you had employees. So it was an empire. It was a huge business. Because what that means, there are several witnesses that are out there. And if those guys come and say, yo, boom, 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 I did this, 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 that. And the key thing, if Cassie now comes and says, let's sign, the diddler's done, man. The diddler's done. And when you just look at this stuff, I'm going to just say two words. And then you can just figure, figure it out. Firearms, intimidation, extortion, arson. I'm going to say two words to you. And then I'll end it with this. Tupac Shakur. <laughs>